Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network. All right, so when I say these two words, uh, Hurricane Juan, first thing that comes to mind, anything? If you're in the Atlantic provinces, this will immediately strike fear in, in many people. But it will also get a lot of conversation happening, and normally it's at the same time. Nobody will ever forget the effects of Hurricane Juan. I, I mean, sure, we've had uh, stronger, more impactful storms since. Hurricane Igor is a good example of that, and I actually dedicated an entire day uh, to that in this day in weather history, this podcast. If you missed it, simply go back wherever you happen to listen to podcasts and check out the Hurricane Igor edition. But Hurricane Juan was the 10th named storm of the 2003 season. It was the sixth hurricane, and uh, it had peak wind gusts at 165 kilometers per hour. It formed on the 24th, just southeast of Bermuda. It reached Cat 2 status on the 27th. On the 29th, when it made landfall in Halifax. Uh, this is already starting to sound like 2020, isn't it? Anyway, um, on, the, on the 29th, when it made impact in Halifax, it still had sustained winds of 160 kilometers per hour, and it, and it retained... It's it's Category 2 status through its entire trip through Nova Scotia, across the Northumberland Strait, and still held on to Category 1 strength status as it ripped through Prince Edward Island. Along its path, sadly, it claimed the lives of eight, and it was the worst storm to hit Halifax in 110 years. You have to go back to 1893. But on this day, we're talking about 2003, September 29th, this day in weather history.